for CXC, CSEC multiple choice examinations, questions 7 to 10 are based on the topic number theory. In this video, we'll go through the question from one past paper. To get the most out of this video, pause the video here and resume when you have an answer for each one. Give it your best shot and if you really cannot work out any, then narrow it down and guess. There is no penalty in this exam for wrong answers, so always choose an answer to each question, even if that means guessing. Last chance to pause the video, I am going to show the working in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's go! I answered questions 7 and 8 in a previous video. Check the description below for the link if you want to see the working. The answers to questions 7 and 8 are A and D respectively. Question 9. If 3n is an odd number, which of the following is an even number. I have not discussed algebra yet, so this question may seem a bit overwhelming, but it isn't. Answer A says 3n minus 1. We know that 3n is an odd number. So 3n minus 1 is the number before. So let me explain. So maybe 3n is equal to 9. Then 3n minus 1 would be equal to 9 minus 1, which is equal to 8. On the other hand, if 3n was equal to 99, then 3n minus 1 would be equal to 99 minus 1, which is equal to 98. I use two examples here, but you can use as many examples as you are comfortable with. We see the trend. We got 8 and we got 98 and both are even. So this answer seems correct. But let's make sure that the other answers are wrong. B. B. 3n minus 2. If 3n was 9... Then 3n minus 2 would be equal to 9 minus 2, which is equal to 7. And if 3n was equal to 99, then 3n minus 2 would be equal to 99 minus 2, which is equal to 97. Neither 7 nor 97 is even, so we know that b is wrong. C. C says 3n plus 2. If 3n is equal to 9, then 3n plus 2 is equal to 9 plus 2, which is equal to 11. If 3n is equal to 99, on the other hand, then 3n plus 2 is equal to 101. 99 plus 2 is equal to 101. Neither 101 nor 11 is even, so we know that C is wrong. D. This is difficult to explain without algebra, but I will try. 3n plus 2n. If 3n is equal to 9, In algebra, a letter represents some number that we don't know. But we could figure it out in this case, can't we? If 3n or 3 multiplied by n is equal to 9, then what is the value of n? We know that it is 3. n is equal to 3. So then... 3n plus 2n is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 plus 2 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 9 plus 6, which is equal to 15. If, on the other hand, 3n is equal to 99, then n has to be 33. 
because 3 multiplied by 33 is equal to 99. Then 3n plus 2n becomes 3 multiplied by 33 plus 2 multiplied by 33. Which gives 165, which is odd. Both 15 and 165 is odd, so D is wrong. Thus confirming that A is the answer. Number 10. 25 multiplied by 130 is the same as 25 multiplied by 100 plus 30. B. 25 plus 30 multiplied by 100. C. 25 multiplied by 30 plus 25 multiplied by 100. Or D. 100 multiplied by 30 plus 100 multiplied by 25. The distributive law states that multiplication is distributive over addition. That is, 5 multiplied by 3 plus 1 is the same as 5 multiplied by 3 added to 5 multiplied by 1. So we can expect the answer to be in the form of 25 multiplied by 130 is equal to 25 multiplied by some number plus 25 multiplied by another number with the two numbers adding to 130. C. C is the answer. 25 multiplied by 30 plus 25 multiplied by 100 with 100 plus 30 adding up to 130. And that's it for this section. I am Mr. Dubey. See you in the next video.